what is going on with this relationship? They're both toxic. They're so toxic. Just break up. No, stay together. Don't infect other no. people with your toxicity. No. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, have each other, honestly. Right. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Membry Ash. I'm Ashley. I'm Mitch. This is our channel. And we're watching The Ultimatum South Africa. They know it's our channel. We're the ones doing it. <laughs> and this is somebody else's channel. We're just hanging out. Uh, no, it's ours. It's ours. Yeah. Our channel. We are on episode seven. Back and to reality. Is back what it's to called. reality. Yeah. You look worried. <laughs> well, I, I mean, come on. Oh, so I just spent, I just, I just need to tell people, I just spent the last like, like I probably four, four to five hours over the last day trying to find the missing Bluetooth headphone that we needed to read in order to record this. And then we had to buy a new set just for y'all so that we can get this out on time. No, it's just for you because you lost the other one. That's so rude. <laughs> That's for all of us. Because if they don't have the... trying to blame them. Tell them it's this. I wasn't tell saying... No, I lost... It's for you. No, it's no, not. No, no. No, we... I probably could have... Uh, maybe if I... If we flipped the whole house, I could have found it. But we didn't want to get these out rather than waiting until, like, the... The reunion is right around the corner, so we want to make sure that we're ready for it. Yeah, for sure. Um, so today we're, we're probably going to film two in one and then just set, uh, release them separately. But we're going to get through most of the remainder of Ultimatum South Africa today. Yes. I wanted to say real quick um, from the last episode, uh, I stand by everything we said with the Isaac Ruth conundrum. Um, but we did talk about it. And I think a couple of people have mentioned it in the comments as well. Where I'm not totally standing Isaac in, in, the, in, in that I do believe that he was moving towards getting down with Kanye and if Kanye was more willing that he would have a hundred percent I don't think that he was like innocent and in all this he just didn't have the opportunity Ruth did um but you know I still think also that Ruth was like very angry at him you know I, I know. also think it's complicated of the couples Ruth and Isaac seemed the least surprised or like shocked that there was some level of like intimacy with their partners like he didn't yeah. look he didn't look super shocked like he yeah. didn't look massively betrayed it almost felt like a race it was like an arms race you know <laughs> they really sometimes seem like they hate each other they do be well we'll see when they reunite in episode seven for some reason they are yeah i don't just I don't stay on that. the show probably. i don't get that just yeah at a certain point yeah. yeah all right let's just do it let's let's, let's do let's it rock and roll let's rock baby. and roll y'all gonna make me lose my mind it's clear a lot has happened over the last three weeks. Yeah, it is pretty obvious. That is true. And with that said, Nkateko, what are you bringing into the next three weeks? Bullshit is what he's Bullshit. bringing. Next I don't three trust weeks. this man. <laughs> I know why she's saying it, even though she won't admit it. <laughs> what does that mean? Why is Nkateko or Isaac even allowing themselves to talk badly about me gossip about me what coming from her are you kidding me are you f kidding me right now you two have been you know gossiping and talking and uh, uh, no 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 on. literally the biggest hypocrite on earth she has said such bad things about Nkateko this whole time like she yeah. really doesn't have a leg to stand yeah. on here no if she's... she hadn't been saying stuff about him maybe I would say the way they were talking about her was not I wouldn't like yeah, that. Absolutely. Like if you were doing that with one of your guy friends, I would be irritated. But if in the background you're also calling me a useless piece of shit. Sure. I felt like she didn't learn anything from how she communicated. That was constantly going through my mind the entire time. I feel like it feels with her like she would have to exhibit some level of vulnerability to admit that she'd learned something and she doesn't feel comfortable doing that. Yeah. We're gonna leave it here for tonight. This is a mess, dude. This is a mess. I honestly don't even want to so. see them like back together with their partners. Some of them, for real, most of them, because I don't think it's gonna go well at all. And I really just don't wanna. I don't wanna deal. Take care, be yourself. Oh. Are with each other, their body movement and how they're really comfortable with each other. It's very painful. I like Genesis so I much. I like Genesis too. Energy from Genesis seed that he's not comfortable. Yeah. I, you know, a lot of these people are doing a good job of understanding what's happening around them too. Lindale seems to be really observant. Yeah. He's quiet. He's like that quiet guy that seems chill sitting in the corner, but he's seeing everything that's going on. Yeah. I don't really see any red flags with Genesis or Lindale, to be honest with you. I right don't know now, if their current sure. relationships are the best for them, but yeah. they deliberately try by all means to get under my skin. I was just disrespected. Isaac, 
Don't worry about her. She always feels disrespected. Everything she she doesn't see when she's disrespecting other people, and then she feels disrespected all the time. I know by everything. It's really weird, honestly. Yeah, it is. It's feeling really good to be back with Courtney. I just feel like this huge. Oh, Courtney and Aiden are so cute. I feel like this might have pushed Aiden maybe to propose to Courtney. I, I, I he's he's like I don't want to deal with any of this. Mm -hmm. shit, probably. Oh no! Oh no! You do realize how much you value about your partner. Yeah, for by sure. By being around other people, oh. I feel that when I'm around other yeah. people, I'm like, oh man, it's so much more comfortable yeah. when I'm with Mitch. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Hi. So you're giving me silent treatment. Were they just moving into one of the other person's apartments right now? So I just wanted him to stay out of my way and me stay out of his way. This just seems horrible already. Well, there's nothing I'm not used to getting silent treatment. Silent yeah. treatment is a terrible thing to do to someone. Like you really, really shouldn't use that. It can be yeah. depending. How pervasive it is, mm -hmm. yeah. Were you buying her this wine? This get, take your cheap wine and get off my bed. Dude. <laughs> Is she, did she just pour something on him? Stop telling other people what to do. It's not. She poured wine on him. Bed! Tanya, stop hitting me. Just relax. Get off this bed! I wasn't disappointed. Why is That's she treating nuts. him like that? You can't. Boss, for men, see this for men not for boys. She's not marriage material for anybody. She needs, no. a, she needs therapy, dude. That's so f man. When I think of kids, I don't want to marry her. Yeah, I would not want her to be my uh, a mother around me. A mother to my children, I would I would never think Kanye. No, because you don't want kids. I mean, kids are gonna test your patience. Yeah. Kids are going to be disrespectful to you, and like, yep. you have to know how to deal with that. The trauma a kid would come up with. Even just seeing your parents. Yeah, fight like absolutely. This this, this, this can awful. wreck a child. Baby, I'm you fucking you. Get busted. She's ableist. She's classist. She's. F Big. Horrible. Yeah, dude. This exact moment, I wanted nothing to do with Nkata. I, I, she poured the red wine. She's making me like, like physically ill watching her on screen. Honestly, it's really uncomfortable. Yeah. She's so toxic. It's hard she's to not, watch. She's not toxic. She's unhealthy to be around. Because having someone pour wine on you is such a violation. I just don't, uh, That's all of so it That's so disrespectful. Still have to go to him and ask him to talk to me. Oh. He's struggling. I heard that you are uh, in love with Tabby. Okay. She's taking it pretty well. In that connected with Tabby, we've been intimate. Intimate? What does that mean? I don't know what he means by that. Does, were they sleeping together? I mean, intimate can mean a lot of different things, you know? Everything that I've been doing, everything that you've been doing. I'm hurting. I think he is saying, and this we noticed, and Kateko and Siza were doing a lot of flirting in front of everyone else. Mm -hmm. Lindale and Tabby were not. Uh -huh. They were doing it in the privacy of their own apartment. Yeah. I will walk away from this relationship. If there's one thing I want, I want you to be happy. This is a good example of two people that are hurting and having yeah. a really healthy conversation with each other about what's going on. I agree, I agree. That said, I do think that uh, Lindelay is sort of, because he's really into Tabi right now, that if she walks, if Siza walks and loves Nkateko more, then it gives him an open door to be with Tabi. And it's not fair for me to be emotional about her experience. And Lindelay is showing up pretty well so far. He is. And where she's saying, because she said to him, I yeah. don't think you're being fair to me. And then he's like, yeah, okay, I'm not being fair yeah. to her. When you walk into the villa, I'm seeing the set up with gifts for me. And it's looking so cute. Oh, I mean, going back to the house where one of your people was living with another person is a level out of uncomfortable, That's though. That's stressful. That's kind of weird. I'm really happy that Genesis made the effort to get thoughtful gifts. Thank you. I see another gift. He really went all out. From Boopsie to Boopsie. <laughs> oh, is that from Lindelay? <gasps> no. Genesis is there, and I'm supposed to focus my attention on him oh. now and be in the moment. Wow, that's awful. Oh, Lindelay left it there, and yes. Genesis had nothing to do with that. I wasn't expecting that one. Oh. <sighs> Oh, I really... I'm trying not to break. Oh man, that sucks. I feel really bad for Genesis. I feel bad for him too. But you not in the way like he's being done how, like, bad. Heartbreaking that is for yeah. him. Yeah. 
he's so good at communicating that he's feeling hurt though he's really yeah he, his communication the way he expresses his hurt is really healthy yeah it makes me feel really like empathetically yeah. towards him because he's so like calm about it uh-huh. and so honest yeah and you can see on his face that those yeah. are the feelings that he's feeling and then for him to just verbalize it and he doesn't get angry and he doesn't blame other people or uh-huh. anything i mean even lindley he's not like oh it's so inappropriate that he mm-hmm. did that he's like it hurts to see someone appreciating your partner in a the, way that you should yeah. be appreciating that absolutely about lindley every time i look at this teddy and i just want to hold it and cuddle it wow that is why didn't they show us any of this they really didn't show lindley and tabby getting this close i feel bad that like i didn't get anything for you it feels like a little bit of a blind side it does Oh, she didn't get anything for Genesis, but she got stuff for, for Linda, Linda Lay. Oh, Tabby. Just close that. I got Lindy or something. Oh, Whoa. dude. She's being honest. That's key. Um, I want you to choose me because you love me, but not because I've been the option for the seven years. Oh, man, this is rough. This is rough. This is hard. Yeah, yeah it's hard this to is watch. Rough. Oh, okay. I like Genesis so much. He, but he's like, he's going to fight with love. Ugh. You know, and I and I really appreciate. I Genesis is great. He's so great. It's, so is Tabby. Tabby so was far, honest yeah, immediately for sure, and she knew it would hurt him. And it sucks, but she told him immediately. Yeah, that's good. I just want to make Aiden feel really, really special. Is this like a select a gift from the package options? <laughs> it Here's looks a heart like of candy it. kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, because they don't have time to go shopping. Yeah, yeah right. So production's just like, do you want to get him a gift? I couldn't get you anything. I didn't have any money. Oh. And I know Courtney's disappointed that I didn't get her anything. Gonna have to make it up to her. Why is he still Aiden? Aiden. That's b- honestly. That's I didn't have money, but I do now. I mean we don't know his economic situation, but I just stole an issue, dude. We've uh we've gotten flack from some people for calling each other dude or bro, and I like watching the South African <laughs> Ultimatum because I see so many times where one of the partners is calling the other one dude or bro, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> well, I think mostly that was when we were watching Golden Bachelor. Yeah. And I think there is maybe like an age difference. A generational slightly. thing, yeah. Also, we live on the West Coast. Everybody says dude, dude and bro. man all yeah. the time, bro. Hey, man. We're going to make huge strides. <laughs> okay, well, let's get to bed. Okay. I have work tomorrow. Courtney's very dry. She's hard to read for me. Their vibes are strange yeah. to me. But for now, I'm happy that... I'm back with Aiden. It is kind of crappy he didn't get her a gift. Hear him, like, maybe it's uh, money. I don't really need to see them having sex, but, they like... They just look like worms in a bag. <laughs> like, I don't I don't need that at all. Um, But he could have done something that he could have written or something, mm-hmm. like a little note. Oh, no. It didn't have to be... It doesn't have to be monetary. Monetary yeah. gifts, yeah. One apologize for... Whoa. Oh. The way you found out about everything. <sighs> I'm glad she's apologizing. I handled myself or everything after you found out. Okay. Okay. That's, yeah. Don't think he deserved to, to hear it that way. That's a good apology, I think, because it's she's not sorry for sleeping with him. And she said that, but she is. And that's what we were talking about. It was like that whole blow up was kind of bad. Yes. It's hard to watch. And it I didn't was hard like, to watch. And I didn't like the way Ruth was handling it, but she's handling it now. But not because of what you did. Yeah, she. that's exactly yes. right. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, Isaac, it's true. I don't apologize for sleeping with Nola because... He's been cuddling with Kanye. He's been kissing Kanye. No, let's not continue to justify it. Well, okay, let's but not but do that. Yeah, but I he would have slept with Kanye had he had the chance. I'm a hundred percent. I don't that. believe that that's the reason why she should say that she's not apologizing though. Like I think that's crappy. I well yeah. So it should be like I'm not sorry because I wanted to sleep with him and yeah. I did. Right. It's kind of the thing that maybe she and should that's say. that's hurtful, but at least it's yeah. not blaming the other person for yeah, it's true. an action that you made. I mean, that's valid. I hear you. Already she has met someone from your family, which I have not. And I see why she's angry about some of these things, but I think they're separate yeah. things and they shouldn't have anything to do with the apology it's that she's true. giving him. And then you're complaining, I did this because you did that because right. I did this because you did like that. Before you know scenario, it, it becomes like... really, you can't keep track. You, there's not like a... Is there a log somewhere where you have the right. uh, offenses each other does? And she knows the damage she has caused me. She's sorry because of how I found out and how she reacted, not because of what she did. 
I do think that's helpful and that matters, but I also understand why he's mad that she's not sorry for sleeping with Nola. I think, though, like, that allows him to say, like, I want out then. Yeah. Oh, and he's like, and I get why he doesn't want to sleep. They literally had sex there over and over again. I get why he wouldn't even want to be there. Absolutely. That's what I'm saying. Like, forcing them to go into one of their homes feels a little <laughs> There's a vacant home somewhere, isn't there, because of uh, Lebo and Nola leaving? They could have done, like, I don't, I kind of don't get why they're not shuffling it up to a neutral third space it yeah. actually i think inherently makes this more difficult to reconnect and a little bit more toxic in their relationships yeah i agree i didn't do it by mistake that's the thing i only apologize for mistakes that's that's fair that's valid i mean i i hear what you're saying it's hurtful but she's being honest and then he's loud and i think this is mm-hmm. fine to say i really don't want to stay here tonight because he is affected by the fact that she isn't sorry for what she yeah. did but then there's honesty at least hey, for honestly both they them. handled it well she apologized for doing what she thought was hurtful the parts yeah. that she felt sorry for and then he and he very calmly said i can't deal with this i need to step out and yeah. given the situation that's fair yeah. To my surprise, Tabby's at the door. She's looking good, I must say. Oh, this Lindley Tabby thing is stressful. Oh, God. Theirs actually feels like a genuinely, like, pretty deep, deeper connection than I would have expected. And it is. Wow. And she's putting, she's, she's cutesing herself up to come give the gift. Mm-hmm. She's trying to turn eyes over here. This makes me a little uncomfortable. She Not looks good. This is the complicated that the show is made for. You know, this is standard ultimatum complicated. It sucks to watch, but it's also cute. It's also complicated. It's also sad. Both really, really excited to see each other. It really does feel like when people with crushes see each other. Mm -hmm. It's like intense, the energy between them. You can can see see it. it. You can see it. Everyone come around. He's like, he's got a, he's got that little smile, you know, that he just can't help. She's always beaming. Yes, he is too. Yeah, for him. For him. Uh, well, He's got but... a subtle smile, but oh, and that f-ing kiss on the paper. Oh, he's cute. They have pet names, Bubsy. Mm-hmm. Ooh, pet names. And it's the same pet name, which I Bubsy would argue and Bubsy? that's like a that's like a a level in a relationship that is... where you call each other the same pet name. Yeah. Bubsy, Bubsy. <laughs> You're not almost close. He's a Bubsy. Oh everything. my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. He almost called Caesar by the pet name he has for Tobby. Oh. Wow, he is affected. He is so twisted right now. That's shocking to me. I didn't think that he would be yeah. that emotional. You mentioned it though. You think he's the only guy that gave the ultimatum. Yeah. He's the only one. So it makes sense he's in a different space than these other men. And yes. that he's that he's like falling for somebody quickly because he's right. ready. He wants love and he's feeling responded to by Tabby. Well, and I think he said this at some point or someone did on the show. He and Tabby did that together, too. They both gave the ultimate. Yeah, They're both exactly. in the same place. They're both ready. Yep. And that's different than any of the any other, of these other dynamics. Yeah. Other men wouldn't even be still here. Isaac's showing up. Yeah, he really is. But what happened happened already? I mean, to her point. Yeah, a lot of guys wouldn't even be there right now. Like, Isaac is, like... He's reacting a lot better than I thought. Yeah. And he's still upset. He's admitting he's still upset, which is fair. I do forgive you. That's intense. I mean, but just because he's saying he forgives her doesn't... There's a difference between saying you forgive somebody and feeling like you forgive somebody. Because this is the kind of thing could that could fester for years. It's also the kind of thing where maybe yeah. they could get past it. But just go and sleep on the bed, man. I wouldn't touch you. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to be on the bed. No. Seeing him squeezing himself in that tiny couch. Yeah, it's... Oh, ho, oh, oh. She's feeling compassion. She doesn't hate him. No. She did in a moment, but... She did. Oh. And she's got that cute grody shirt on. The f- pug on it, you know? I like, who doesn't shirt. have a shirt like that? Absolutely. That's your doing chores hanging around the house shirt. I just got one with a big unicorn on it. Oh, yeah. Let's take a moment and watch some commercials. <laughs> All right. Good night. Good night. That's hard. Don't leave me hanging. <laughs> Don't leave me hanging. I love that. I love that. Man. You know, they're rebuilding oh. their intimacy one step at a time. One fist bump at a time. Coming <laughs> right. back to finding a gift bag. Oh, oh. 
Lindelay. What? Messy Lindelay. That's messy. You can't just leave your crap around like that. Was that intentional or is he that sloppy right now? I don't know if he was intending to hide it from Caesar. Yeah, I hear that too. Kind of forgot to take away my gift. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to hide it. Yeah. yeah. So it's both. It's both the things that we said. But I'm not ready for another squabble at night. I want to go to bed. To be fair, the squabble that we saw previously wasn't very big. Tabi is deliberately sending a message that Lindley came around. He will go back around. I don't know. I don't know if it's Tabi deliberately sending a message. Tabi wanted to talk to Lindley. I get that. Do you think Tabi's trying to elbow yeah. in on C's a bit? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if Tabi knows for sure whether she wants to be with Lindley yeah. or back with Genesis, though. So yeah. it's a little bit confusing that way. If I could see any trial marriage becoming a full, full fledged relationship, it's Tabi and, and Lindley. Totally. I'll take it back tomorrow might be a small issue to me but it is a big issue to her and i need to understand that I what did she give him from Lindley? besides the note it was like a t-shirt or something or okay. a shirt yeah. oh god i just don't even want to watch this i don't either how to get back to that place you shouldn't i there, this is where you don't you shouldn't understand how to get back to that place. You should understand how to how to amicably split is what they need to understand at this point. He literally just said since the first day they met, this has been going on. Like, that is so unhealthy. I cannot imagine. I would hate living like that. Thank you. I'm an apology. He owes her an apology. She poured wine on the, on the ground, screamed at him, physically grabbed him, forced him out of his own bed. But she feels justified in it because he flirted with season in front of her when she like booty shaked at isaac and saw each other naked like it's all tit for tat it's all the same thing but for her she puts herself so far ahead of everybody else that she feels like her hurt is more important than anybody yeah. else's hurt I'm sorry. okay so bring me up to speed what like it, like and I, I don't mean this in a like a really harsh way is she like a sociopath or something like she can't understand other people have feelings she, does she not understand that other people like experience I mean, things too i'm not an expert obviously but when i look at her i see someone that like her emotions are so big that they take priority for her over everything else yes he brought up things he said things as well and then we were like is this true and we spoke as kids About whether you're materialistic whether you're a gold digger he's being up front right? he is yes i've got standards but i am a sucker for love is that what we call this love i don't know toxicity is what i uh. see i still love him you know after everything and it's just annoying it's just annoying i just like what happened to her you know i wonder but you said this some you used to have this perspective that some people that everybody that acts like that had something happen to them but yeah. sometimes it hasn't happened sometimes, sometimes it's nothing it's entitlement sometimes it's the smallest thing in the world that they pretend is a big thing they carry that chip or on their shoulder the rest of their life you li and i'm not saying this is her because yeah. i don't know her background but like you live with like a level of privilege and entitlement in your day-to-day -day life something tiny happens which for you is huge because you haven't ever really experienced hardship yeah. and then you take it out on everyone around you i've definitely known people yeah. like that I just wish I knew. Not that it matters. I guess we'll never know. Do do whatever you, you want. You promised me, Mom. Whatever that me, pleases you. You promised me yesterday. Now oh, you're like it's like tomorrow. a bunch of stuff. And she's packing it back up because she wants him to take it back, which I just don't think is. I don't know. You know, happy selves, and we like you know the power couple. Power couple. Don't say that, Tavi. I was liking you. <laughs> Please, she people, had to go and power couple. Don't call yourselves a power couple. Uh oh, drama, drama incoming. Oh, no. Caesar. And oh, oh, it's her return. Oh, and then Genesis will see the gift that. But she told Tabby told Genesis that, that she got yeah, a gift true. for Lindelay. Doesn't mean he read the note. That's true. The other stuff looks pretty innocuous, like a shirt and stuff. That's mm -hmm. just kind of like a nice little thing. I don't know if you guys spoke on the phone or whatever. He was supposed to bring this back. <laughs> Caesar taking control over here. Um, if you guys were to exchange gifts, I feel like you should have done that. You know, three weeks together, you had a trial marriage. That was your time. Genesis, fly on the wall over here. That's what I do when I'm nervous. I drink over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> Genesis. Wow, Caesar had that planned out. That little speech. Well, because she's basically like, you're, I feel like this is disrespectful. Don't do this again. Yeah. How would she have felt if 
you budged in there with the teddy bear and you're like, hey. I think, can I be honest about the whole situation? I think it's blurry. I think it's blurry. Too. Genesis is like, I want to return with the, with the teddy bear. <laughs> I don't know. Genesis is putting up with that, but he's not comfortable with it. Now it seems like you're just buying a gift during the week while they're still trying to rebuild their relationship. Yes, I agree with yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, that's absolutely. Genesis, I think, is. Spot on. Oh, uh, she thinks she's being disrespected. I don't know. I'm kind of. I get what Genesis, I think, explained it very well there. Yeah. You're stepping in on somebody else while it's their three weeks. Yeah. They weren't getting in each other when they were in their trial marriage. No. And nor should they have. And this sh yeah. that that should be the same respect for both sides of that. Yeah, I agree with that but too. But it's because Lindalee and Tavi can't let go. I don't know where he sees up. And I and I'm stressed about this because I Me think too. Lind if Lindalee picks Tavi, I'm not sure Tavi's gonna leave Genesis. I for know. Lindelay. Oh, I mean this I'm might not. but if it ends the relationship between him and Caesa and it wasn't gonna move forward, then maybe that's right. You know, that's like this is the nature of the show. They, they don't hate each other. He's just so conflicted. He has no idea where to go. We just both need to heal from this. And we just need to be very patient with each other. It's stressful. You're living in a complex where, like, somebody that you have feelings for is, like, right next door. Uh-huh. And it's not really wrong because the show put you together and you did what you're supposed to do. But and it's, it feels it's, wrong. And it's it's cool when people like or love each other. Sure. That's a good thing. Yeah. Like, like having love it for is. other people is a beautiful thing. Right. But, but if then, it's so much that you're leaving your partner, yeah, yeah, then, then that's like, your partner's going to have feelings about that. Because it's hurt involved. It's hurtful. It's, yeah. yeah. We've both hurt each other, yeah. I just don't... She got naked in front of Isaac. I really just don't... <laughs> <laughs> Your laugh is very soothing. Is it? <laughs> I don't... For me, that. her laugh feels mean every time I feel like it's like a Cruella de Vil type situation, you know? What the f*** is going on with this relationship? They're both toxic. They're so toxic. Just f***ing break up. No, stay together. Don't infect other no. people with your toxicity. No, okay, there you go. <laughs> yeah, have each other, honestly. Right. It's, I... I don't want to deal with them. I don't like I don't either. either of them. I hate this. No. I hate this. No, sorry. I want to blame I want to blame her because of how horrible we've seen her be no. and because we've seen her be harmful to him. But there's a point where I'm like I'm confused. He's in that too. He put he put Caesar in that weird situation yep. and then he almost seemed pleased with himself afterwards. Mm -hmm. He is thriving off that drama. And then then I'm like what the f Then I don't know what to do. You can't uh, I don't know. You can't don't help know. people that don't want to be helped, okay? I I actually missed being intimate with you to that level. Yeah, that's a Kataka for you. Oh my god, what? They're gonna be back together. So, I don't think Nkateko ever really liked Siza. This is bullshit. I think it was a show to make Kanye jealous. I think he knew pushing her to that place uh -huh. would get her to behave inappropriately and dramatically. And I feel like he gets off on it. Honestly. Maybe unpopular opinion. I don't know. Also, it's the just way... my feelings. Okay? At this moment. At this but moment, that's literally... how I'm feeling. It's a possibility. When someone disappoints you, hurts you, um, how do you handle that situation? Oh, man. Ruth and Isaac have no business being in a relationship together. <laughs> yeah. I can commend them no for some business. of the things they do where, where it's healthy and they communicate in healthy ways. But right. so much of this just doesn't need to be happening. They need to break up. You kissing, cuddling seeing another woman naked is cheating okay <laughs> but her having sex with someone else is not cheating or they're both cheating frankly because that's what you keep raise, going back then if, if you're not feeling comfortable about anything then what the hell are you doing here why the hell are you still here well why would he be comfortable though he's trying i i kind of agree with this he's trying to make it work as someone that knows that you're not ready for anything why don't you leave I'm really confused what's going on here, honestly. I am too. I feel like she hates him and is trying to push him out of the relationship and she's not making any effort. And then she's saying he's not making an effort. Let me show you why I'm here. Let me show you why I'm here. Oh. No. 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 I fucked up somehow. No. <sighs> Mic drop no. on that cliffhanger. Holy shit. He did not buy her ring, and then this is what's been happening. Wow. I need a minute. I need a minute. When did he buy that ring? When did he buy did that he ring? Did he come into the show with the ring? 
did he know ahead of time? And he was just being kind of a bastard in the beginning because he like knew he was going to propose to her. So he was giving her a little bit of a hard time. What if, no, and I'm serious. Like, like, so the relationship coming in wasn't super healthy. We saw him courting Kanye. We like, it almost feels like they came in here with a hall pass mentality where they, oh, anything yeah, okay. goes, you're broken up, trial, marriage, yada, right, yada, who right. cares? She got laid. He didn't. Right. He's mad because he looks like the idiot now. <laughs> And, uh, and, but, but he was potentially going to propose to her. That's a, that's, that's all a possibility here. He has a f-ing ring. He has a ring. And the big as ring. much as he was like making it seem like he would have proposed to Kanye and borderline maybe would have. I also kind of don't believe that somebody's going to propose to somebody they don't know after three weeks. He I don't know. Also, to it's me, weird, man. he is kind of like, people have said this about Kanye actually. And I think it's more true about Isaac. He has kind of a dry sense of humor in a way. Yeah. And I kind of wonder if some of that was like him, like going off on wild theoretical tangents yeah. with the Kanye thing and it not being like real, but him oh, just like being the... like, what if I did propose to him? I know. What if I we hear did you. get married? You, you... There is like a, there, there's some really good qualities that he has, but there's some stuff that like maybe makes the communication come off a certain way to us or to her or to that's viewers. How, that's how I felt. In the beginning I was like, oh, I really don't like this guy. Like I'm getting bad vibes from him. And then as the show has gone on, I'm like, I actually don't think I am getting bad vibes from him. I think maybe some of the stuff he said was like very direct yeah. in the beginning. Well, in the, but... I still, I still, no, I stand by like some of the weird shit that Ruth had problems with. They, they're upfront. The fact that he, he, you know, he's, he's introducing Kanye to the family that, that she's never met. But that that's kind of also all, the show. It is also the show. Like it's, that's the way the show's set up. Yeah. I hear you. I'm not, I'm not willing to say that he's not a problematic. It's Who knows the, how close he even is to that cousin. Could be a distant cousin, you know? <laughs> Could be. He picked his uh, least favorite family member. Yeah, and it happens Kanye to be to down him. the down the block. Like, oh hey, we haven't talked in twenty years, but come meet this lady I'm living with for a minute. Come meet this random lady. Yeah. she's mean. She's mean. You have no idea. Yeah, dude. I don't know. I I I think it goes. It, they're a perfect example of how a lot of relationships are just messy. It doesn't mean that they're either one of them are evil or horrible people. They're in a kind of an unhealthy relationship right now. Yeah, it could. It's potentially redeemable or fixable but i'm not sure that they should even try at this point maybe they should just like split up and leave but the, i mean he has a ring for her i don't know that whole episode was wild i'm so mad at Inkateko and that whole thing is garbage the fact that he likes that relationship with kanya whatever good luck to him i'm just like <laughs> i really i don't know i like my side eye for Inkateko is so strong at this point it's not even a side eye so strong you know? I don't trust him at all. The way that he's treating the whole situation with Kanye, because at least they didn't show us him sitting down and saying, hey, this behavior is unacceptable. Mm-hmm. You threw wine on me. You made my like the partner that mm-hmm. I was with sees a cry because you were so cruel to her. She's verbally like, assaulting her practically. Absolutely. Like, it was so inappropriate. It was and then he's not doing anything about that. And they're just kissing. Oh, everything's all hunky dory. Apparently the sex is good. Good. I don't know, dude. It's f- toxic. It's weird. It is such a toxic relationship. And I don't like that he put Caesar through it because I don't think she deserved that no, crap. No, he honestly. used Caesar. That's what I'm seeing right here. Yeah. I just don't think it's gonna. Nothing's gonna change in the next episode or two. It's gonna be same old crap. Honestly. I don't know. I'm always open for things to shift. You get okay. more information. Sometimes your opinion shifts. I know our but... shift all the time. Like we liked him to yeah. at the beginning of the season, and now I, I don't. So there we go. There's a shift. <laughs> I think he likes getting yelled at. He's into which. Like some people like that. Some people you like know? that. Maybe he likes getting spit on, and that's why the wine thing wasn't a big deal. I don't know. <laughs> I think for me, it's almost then like, because Kanye's clearly not having a good time, like when she gets heated like that, yeah. it's almost then a weird backwards thing where I'm like, if he's purposefully pushing her to the place where he knows that she's gonna fly off the handle, and then she is emotionally upset for a while afterwards, because yeah. her emotions are high. I don't know who's more toxic for who in that situation. I don't know. A lot of, lot of hot takes on this one. So yeah. how do you feel? What What are your thoughts on Nkateko? How do you feel about the whole Tabby, Caesar, Lindelay love triangle situation going That's on with the gifts? Yeah. And... Yeah, there's a lot happening. There's, there's a, lot, a lot, happening. lot happening. There's I'm, a lot happening. I'm, again, burnt out. We got two more episodes to go. Yes. Uh, oh, the reunion is going to be so gonna spicy. The reunion is going to be spicy. It's going to oh. be good. Y'all stay tuned. Yes. All right. Like and subscribe if you oh, haven't yeah. already. <laughs> And we will see you for the next one. Okay, bye. Thanks, bye. Oh, then I got it knocked. And I started going, Ridiculous. Ah! All those tears.
tricker. Hey, we're gonna go on a cruise this summer. You should come with us. Uh, no. God. Uh, Stop. Okay. Stop. Sorry. Like, I'm here too. Okay. Okay? Did I break the ice a little bit? <laughs> no. No, it didn't. <laughs>